I need a haircut. So I was preparing to film this video and then I, s I didn't even have to see my hair. I felt it. Anyway, it's morning time and I'm like, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and do a haircut. I've never done a haircut on myself this early. I'm not sure if this is gonna affect me. I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a high top fade and then we'll talk about something really interesting. Now you guys, you can pick up all three of these in the link in the description. I'm linking all of these down below. The T outliners, the T foils, and whatever these are. <laughs> They're all linked down below. Look at those Moco Frap eyes, man. All right, guys, lined up everything, and we're looking really good. But I'm really stoked. I'm actually gonna go hop in the shower, clean my hair, and try to do a little look and see what we can get into. Okay, so I'm gonna be trying the wet look. My hair is actually wet right now. You can see like drops of water. But I've been seeing people try this wet look, and I feel like I can't accomplish it. But the wet look is basically what it sounds like. Your hair looks wet, but it's actually dry. And you accomplish this by using, I'm assuming, some sort of gel. Now you guys are probably gonna get out of me for this, but I'm actually gonna be using Texture ID's multi-styling foam. It's like a mousse. And I know it does have like a pretty good hold on it. And I think that's the most important thing. But before I do that, I'm actually gonna be putting Texture ID's leave-in conditioner in my hair. And I was gonna be using my detangling brush, but watching some videos, I've seen that detangling brushes kind of make people's hair frizzy. Doesn't typically do it to mine, but I don't wanna risk it on this video. I'm just gonna be using this, I don't, I don't know what kind of brush this is. But this brush is actually, if you look close, there's hair in there, but they're like little loops. And this is just so that it doesn't rip out any hair. I think you actually use this if you have hair extensions in. Oh, it's called the Original Super Looper. I'm sure you guys have heard of it, because it's the original one. But you can pick up these products in the link in the description. I'll have all of it linked down below. You can also check out greatlax.com to find any of these products. But let's try this hairstyle out. I'm not sure if it's gonna work with the styling foam, but let's try it. So once I spray in the leave-in conditioner, I just run my fingers through my hair. As you can see, my hair is already getting kind of frizzy, so not sure how this is gonna work out. But how I see people doing it, they just brush their hair back. So I'm gonna be doing the same thing, just with brushing my hair back. I'm assuming you can do it with it down to the sides, but I don't wanna look like a WWE wrestler right now. So, so this is what it looks like before putting in the foam. And now let's go ahead and put in some of this foam. My glasses are super dirty right now. So it's time to take a break off of these. That's what happens when you try to do your hair with glasses. I'm gonna turn up the brightness really quick so you can see the actual sheen on my hair. Cause my hair is pretty dark. So it's hard to see the sheen on it or, you know, like the glisten or just the juiciness in general. So I'm about to be pretty blown out, but you'll see my hair a whole lot better. See, I'm pretty white. But mind you, this is just so you guys can see my actual hair, like the curl pattern and stuff, cause it is pretty dark. So I'm just gonna take a few pumps of this and I'm just gonna go all in. All right, y'all. My hair is like soaked with that stuff. So now I'm just gonna be brushing and see how this turns out. So I actually just had to brush through my hair first because it was pretty nappy. I really feel like this brush sucks. And I honestly think I'm supposed to be using an actual like one of those bristle brushes. And I'm about to switch over to that because this is making my hair really puffy. All right, y'all, stage number two, because that didn't work. I need to go grab a spray bottle and probably add a little bit more water to my hair. Be right back. All right, guys, scratch everything that I just did. I'm going to be using this brush right here. Man, I feel like y'all still going to get on me. I think this is the wrong thing, but I'm almost positive that this is going to work. Something about my hair just dries out so quick. This time I'm not gonna brush through my hair. <sighs> Dang, I almost drowned. Ugh. Second round of leave-in conditioner, why not? Now I'm gonna run my fingers through my hair, again. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna be easier now. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that brush. I'm almost positive it's not meant for my hair. 
I need to step my game up. All right, now that my hair is pretty soaking wet, I throw it all back. I guess the hardest thing for me is like trying to actually run my fingers all the way through my hair because it gets pretty long at the bottom. Now let's go in with the styling foam. Once again, y'all are probably like, dude, you got so much product in your hair. Bruh, trust. I see so many people put so much more product in their hair. Maybe it's the foam that's getting wrong. My hair white? Oh yeah, this is gonna work. I'm onto something. I think you have to put a buttload of product in your hair. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, I'm getting the roots, I'm getting the tips. Oh yeah, I'm onto something now. I think I was just using the wrong brush. I was playing myself. All right, here we go. All right, so I was watching one tutorial. It was Sheldon, and he said that he brushed under his hair too much to where he got too much shrinkage. So I'm trying to not brush through my hair a whole bunch. I am gonna put some more foam in there because I feel like the stuff doesn't have that much of a hold. And y'all are probably like, dude, what are you doing? Trust me, I don't really know. I wonder if this is gonna give me some sick waves. All right, so now that I'm at this step, my hair isn't looking too fly at the bottom. This is it wet, and then I'll show you guys when it's dry. All right, you guys, I don't know if this is cheating. I put on a do-rag because it just seemed like it was gonna work out a whole lot easier. And as I'm waiting for my hair to dry, I was watching a video of someone doing a wet look, and they made it look so easy. There were so many things that I didn't do that they were doing, and maybe I should've watched videos before this, but I feel like it's better just to get my own experience on some of these things. And the reason I'm so close, because I. I mean, I don't have my shirt on and I ain't trying to... My shirt was getting all kinds of wet anyway. But she was like doing layers and like using all kinds of gel. So this is actually how to get the wet look without gel. That's what I'm doing today. This is how you do it. Use foam, mousse, whatever. Then you throw on a do-rag afterwards or a head wrap, whatever you have to do. And we're gonna see how this looks. Hopefully it turns out. But I'm still gonna wait for this to dry out a whole lot more because I mean, it's getting there. It's getting there. Yeah, this is kind of drying out. But it's gonna be pretty interesting because I personally don't like my hair super flat to my head. I have long hair for a reason. So it's gonna be pretty interesting to see what I think about this. But yeah, the way I'm doing it is slightly different than a lot of other people because other people use, you know, Eco Style Gel, whatever it's called. I haven't even used that yet. I wanna use that one of these days. Some of that like extreme, whatever it is. I don't know, something extreme. But I don't use any gel, so this ought to be really interesting. All right, y'all. Moment of truth right here. So I put on the do-rag. I actually went and blow dried my hair. I used like some heat and some cold air, but I'm pretty sure it's dry. Yeah, it's dry. But I feel like I'm about to look like Easy E right now. So let's do this. I feel like this is like a wave check. Y'all know when people do those. All right, y'all, here we go. Is my hair gonna be dripping? Is it gonna be wavy? All right, here we go. I don't know if people rock the wet hair look. Like maybe it's just like the brushed back look that looks really weird, but I don't really get jiggy with the wet hair look. My hair's like super glistened, that's for sure. But yeah, it's an interesting hairstyle. I personally just don't get jiggy with my hair being like flat on top, because I really feel like the Prince of Egypt right now. I mean, it's still a success. My hair still looks wet. That's the whole point, right? Hair's supposed to look wet, wet look. Anyway, this is what we rock with. Like, I like my hair to be big. Like, not big, but not flat on my head. I'm gonna go look in the mirror, I'll be right back. All right, y'all, that's the look, all right? I'm mostly stoked on the fade because I feel like it was one of the best fades I've given myself. It's like I can't really go a hairstyle without doing one of these, y'all ready? Here we go. I was trying to not look like a wrestler. Ended up looking like a wrestler. Look like Triple H. Yeah, I would say it was a success because my hair looks wet and it's not really wet. That's the whole point, ain't it? 
But you guys, that's that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you wanna watch the full haircut video, that video is gonna be up next. Not literally like right after this, but it's on the channel. You can go check it out. But you guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to go check out greatlocks.com for all the products used in today's video. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.